What's good? It's your boy Jordan. Today I'll be talking about into the mind of a hater. See, what we have to understand is when we develop into the individuals that God wants us to become, we may not understand the mind of a hater. We may not understand why people hate. We may not understand the situations that other people go through. Understand that everyone goes through different situations. So with that being said, we have to understand the situations and the predicaments that other people are placed in. Everyone was not raised with love. Everyone was not raised with caringness, happiness that God provides to us. We have to understand the way some people were raised may not be the same way we are raised. If someone is raised out of hatred instead of love, then they develop hateristic character traits. We have to understand where the hate comes from. Sometimes these people never want anything in their life. So they have this negative ideology of the world due to the fact of the matter of seeing other people win and them not being able to win themselves. Days upon days upon days, weeks upon weeks upon weeks, months upon months upon months, years upon years upon years. If you're that individual who has never won in anything, then you start to develop hater character traits. Anytime you see someone else winning, doing something productive in their own life, you always have something negative to say about that. You always think that it was given to them and they didn't work hard for it. You think the worst possible outcome, even with yourself. You may be in a positive situation for yourself that you may not understand or observe or take in. And you think that that situation is going to come to an end in a negative way. Someone may be showing you the way to go providing you advice, providing you the way that God sent them to do, and you think that that outcome is going to be negative due to the fact of the matter of you never winning anything. When you never win, and that constantly happens, the only thing that you may feel and see is negativity. So when you see somebody else that is doing the things that you may want to do, and they're successful at those things, you feel that their success stems from them doing things behind the scenes, them not doing it the right way, and just illusions all the time. The mind always looks for problems and not solutions. You may see people that you may not know, and every time you see these people, it shows you in your own life that you're not doing anything. You're not doing what you need to be doing. So that's how hate develops. We have to understand the mind of a hater because if we don't get to the root of the problem, the problem will not be solved. Sometimes people have negative people around them that treat them terribly, that tell them terrible things and make them feel like they can't do anything. You may have an idea, a plan, a purpose, and you tell the wrong people about that. These people, instead of them encouraging you, they just tell you, you can't do it. You're not able to do it. You're not good enough. So you start to feel like you're not good enough. They see that you're able to break away from them and they want to pull you back in to misery, to trauma, to negativity. We have to understand people who haven't healed as yet can only bring you into their misery. Misery loves company. If someone sees that you're able to move on, move ahead and move forward, the only thing that they can do if they haven't healed themselves, if they haven't turned their life around, is trying to pull you back into the mess. See, when you understand 
what is going on in this world and you understand that there's not much winners in this current time period, but a lot of people who have lost, then you understand where the hater character traits stem from. See, when you live by that hater ideology, you cannot get out of that hater ideology. Any and everything that you see that someone else is doing, you will always have a problem with it. You will always feel like you're not good enough. Sometimes haters try to mask their hate by making themselves feel like they're better than this and that person. But in reality, inside, they're not better. They don't feel better. And they just live in mediocrity. See, sometimes someone who's hating on you may make outlandish statements to make you feel like you're lesser than what God sent you here to be. Sometimes haters may have everything above the surface and they may see someone who doesn't have much things, but just feeling their energy, feeling the Holy Spirit that comes across that person and they have an issue with it. You know, we have to be real at the end of the day. Not everyone here is to spread happiness, spread love and spread caring. People rather live in mediocrity because at the end of the day, when you live in mediocrity, no one's going to look at what you're doing, take you seriously. People are not going to look at you as a threat. People are just going to look at you as, oh, this person's stagnant. So I don't need to compete with this person because I already beat this person. That's how people feel. Haters feel like that too. If you're up and coming and doing what you need to do, someone who's further on their mission, on their path, but haven't found success on their mission and on their path, all they can do is try to diminish what you're doing. They can't uplift it. They don't want to uplift it. We have to also understand some of these people who are haters, their parents were haters. You know, their parents saw things in their children that they may not have had, and they just spread their hate towards the children, telling their children things that are negative at the beginning stages of that child's life. So when you have a negative perception and a mentality of a hater, we have to switch that around because you cannot live that way. It does not help yourself. It does not help anybody. How are you supposed to receive the blessings that God wants you to receive? If you are a hater, if you spread hate, if you walk around filled with hatred, you can't do anything positive because you're in a negative mind frame. And we all were once in a negative mind frame, but just changing that mind frame and understanding where that mind frame stems from and actually making the necessary changes for you to actually live a happy and peaceful life. When you're a hater, you're not happy or peaceful. You try to spew that negative energy to everybody. Understand that we need to heal. We need to work on ourselves. We need to hold ourselves accountable in understanding why we feel this way, how we're able to change the way we feel and how we're actually supposed to be here to uplift others and uplift ourselves and follow the most high on our journey that he placed us on. So today I'll be reading the scripture to you and I hope that these scriptures can help you in your daily and personal life. Proverbs 10, 18, the one who conceals hatred has lying lips and whoever utters slander is a fool. Leviticus nineteen seventeen, you shall not hate your brother in your heart you shall reason frankly with your neighbor, lest you incur sin because of him. See, today, I want us to understand that into the mind of a hater comes negativity, sorrow, pain, greed, envy, jealousy. If we do not work on these negative character traits, we will destroy ourselves. We will destroy our life. And the Most High will not bless us, will not help us, will not 
deliver us if we decide to live in this mindset, in this mind frame. The Most High wants us to be free. The Most High wants us to be strong and courageous. The Most High wants us to show genuinity. And if we are unable to be genuine, if we are unable to do the things that God wants us to do, how can we receive the blessings in this life that God wants us to receive? Understand that a hater will not stop your mission, your goal, even if they try. Haters can only destroy themselves. They can only destroy the people around them that are willing to listen. But if you do not listen to a hater and you decide to continue on your mission, on your journey and on your path, you will get far ahead with the covering of the Most High. This life is for us to understand it, to understand ourselves, to understand why God places us in the situations and the positions that we're in and take every learning experience that we're provided with from the Most High as a serious experience because God wants us to understand every perspective in this life. Once you understand every perspective in this life, you're able to navigate this life with the knowledge wisdom and the understanding that God wants us to navigate this life with. You may have some days that you may be upset, mad, alone, feeling lost. But at the end of the day, every day that we're able to wake up, we're able to change our perspective into more of a positive perspective. We're able to change our lives into a way that is seeking and understanding the most high and learn that if you have a mentality of a hater, you have to break out of that mentality because that mentality only destroys. It does not uplift. It does not help yourself. It doesn't help others. It doesn't bring you closer to the most high. It only destroys you. But if you learn how to break that mentality and switch that mentality into the mentality that God approves of, then you start to see your life change in the direction that you're able to move forward with. Your environment is important in understanding who you place yourself around. Because many times we may be around people that we grown up with, but not understanding how these people grew up. The people that we may be around when we're growing up until now may not have been in the position in the place that you're in. So these people can only look at these things that may happen to you in your life from a negative perspective. They only can look at it as a perspective where you're never gonna make anything of yourself. You're never gonna do anything because these people have not done anything in their own lives. My advice to you is take advice from people who have been there and moved on towards a more positive life. The people who decide that they want to make a change in their life, keep those people close because those people have experienced many different changes in this life from having a hater mentality to having a more positive mentality, understanding structure, understanding the most high, understanding where our thought process come from and actually wanting to renew their minds. Those are the people that you should stay close to. Do not be around people who remind you of your past, but do not want to move on to the present or the future. There are people who are fine with living in the past. There are people who do not want to move on to the present or the future. They live in this mind frame and this outlook that if we live in the past, we can stop this individual who has a pleasant future from getting far in their future. Learn yourself, learn your life, learn your mind. Take the time to analyze where your thoughts come from. Take the time to understand it. And when you understand, you're able to make the necessary changes in your life that God wants you to make. I wanna thank you for watching today and I hope that we understand 
the mind of a hater. And we understand not to take haters seriously, but to understand that everyone has their negative outlooks on what we should be doing, how we should be doing it. But don't take advice from a hater or anyone who hasn't been there, who hasn't got far on their mission, on their journey, who hasn't done anything positive, influential or impactful. Take advice from those who want to change, who are willing to change, who understand change and understand that you are on the same mission and the same path that they're on, on this journey that the most side provides us today. A hater can only stop you if you want to be stopped. If you pass the hater mentality, you are able to surpass what you feel in your life that you aren't able to surpass in the past. Our life is important. God is important. And understand that some people stay in that hater mentality for the rest of their lives. It isn't up to you to make that change for them. It's up to them to make that change for themselves. Peace.